Hello everyone, welcome. This is Reach, made up of five teen apprentices, three college interns, five professionals. Together we study all styles of dance, including hip hop, modern, contemporary, and ballet. Every dance we'll show you has an idea that inspired its creation. For the first piece, we wanna give you a little hint. What does this gesture mean? How about this one? And one more. Nice job. We use gestures to communicate ideas and feelings. Martha Armstrong Gray started this dance many years ago. She strung gestures together into phrases and called the dance body language. We expanded it and added some new music. Enjoy. Thank you. This pandemic performance video is instead of our two week tour to community centers and camps throughout the greater Boston area performing and teaching workshops. While we are sad we're not dancing for you in person, we are glad you are here watching our performance. Let us introduce ourselves. I'm Brian, I'm one of the professionals. Hi, my name's Miranda, I'm one of the college interns and I go to Mount Holyoke College. 
Hello, my name is Mira. I'm a college intern and I attend the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. Hi, my name is Luna. I'm 12 years old and I attend Sudbury Valley School. Hi, my name is Lavinia. I'm a college intern and I'm a rising sophomore at Boston University. Hi, my name is Wendy. I'm one of the professionals. Hi, I'm Layla. I'm 14 and I go to the Sudbury Valley School. Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm one of the professionals and I'm from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Ava. I'm 17 and I go to Arlington High School. Hello, I'm BC and I'm one of the professionals. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm 16 and I attend Uber Memorial High School. Hi, my name is Hannah and I am one of the professionals. Hi, my name is Nandini. I'm 16 and I attend Boston University Academy. And I'm Mickey, Director of REACH. Warp was choreographed and danced by me and Brian. This piece is predominantly about making and doing movement that is genuine and enjoyable. This piece examines different styles of dance, the way that they interact, and the commonalities that exist between genres. Choreographer, the person who makes the dance, selects music and movement to tell a story, express an emotion, or explore something from their everyday lives. I choreographed the next piece with Karen and Antony. In our piece, the joyful and sudden nature of adventure is represented through balloons. Our individual colors represent who we are, and when we get to dance with each other's colors, we experience the adventure of someone else's world. Welcome to our adventure. Now go on your own.
I choreographed this duet for sisters Layla and Luna. This piece represents the cycle of the pandemic and how it's affected the way we, as dancers, interact. I choreographed this next piece, States of Matter, in collaboration with BC and Brandon. This dance plays with the tension between the forces of pushing, pulling, and releasing. Its varying dynamics of speed and motion represent the three states of matter, liquid, solid, and gas, which we attempt to display with our bodies. In this piece, we aim to form a bridge between those states of matter in nature and ourselves so that we are coexisting and embodying each other.
The Daily News was choreographed by Judith Chafee. She got her idea of riding the subway 30 years ago. Back then, lots of people read newspapers on the trains. We've updated the original dance to include more dance styles like hip hop. We've also added cell phones since that is how a lot of people get their news today. This solo, Thirana and Rag Galavati, showcases many technical aspects of Kathak, a classical Indian dance form in which I train. Choreographed by my teacher, this fast-paced composition is set in a 16-beat rhythm structure known as Thal. 
It includes lots of intricate footwork and many turns, which I hope you enjoy watching. Our piece is an ode to a classic Sunday routine, sipping on coffee, relaxing, catching up with our best friends, and creating art and dance. We hope this piece brings a smile to your face.
Nature's Calling was choreographed by me and BC with the help of the rest of the cast. It explores how we can integrate with nature as an escape of everyday hustle, where sometimes it's hard to find peace and silence. Throughout the piece, we explore the idea of being grounded and immersing ourselves with nature the more we dance. Please enjoy Nature's Calling.
As a company, we had a lot of fun getting ready for this performance video. This performance was put together in three weeks. You too can make up dances. Choreographing is a great way to express your ideas and bring people together, even on our phones. We wanna give credit to our videographers, all the choreographers, plus Olivia Blaisdell who put the whole show together. And the parents who gave up part of their houses for their children to take class, rehearse, and film the choreography. We have two more pieces for you. Hi, so this next piece I choreographed is titled Light Noise, and it's adapted from a previous tap solo I had done this year, just modified and edited in order to fit this new song. And overall, it's just a fun, light piece with the intention of being satisfying to listen to. Thank you. This next piece is a release. It's groove, it's bounce, and fun all wrapped into one.
I hope you have enjoyed the show. If you have any questions or comments for any of the dancers, please feel free to email us on the address below. Hey, Mart. Thank you for the coffee. You're very welcome. Let's tell people about the beginning of Reach. Yes. We started it in 1995 when we had our dance company, Boston Dance Collective. But it was a period of lower funding for employment for teenagers and for the arts in general. And so we decided that we would help out with that. So we employed teenagers to dance alongside our professional dancers. And it was a wonderful intergenerational company and still is to this day with Mickey leading it. And many of those young people went on to professional careers in dance and community service and sometimes both. We hope you enjoyed the show.